Hi guys, and I'm here with another video. And this is much more of a theory video. What if I told you that the X-Files, Gravity Falls, and Family Guy were all in the same universe? That's right. All three of these shows take place in the same universe through connections, and plenty of connections. How do I say this? There's one show that holds all of this glue together. It's the show that connects an entire multiverse of cartoons. And even some live action shows, as I told you with X-Files. And I'm only beginning with this. And I've only done basic research, but we might be able to connect every show in existence. Might. You see, this little show that connects everything is The Simpsons, which you'll be very surprised for what is connected to it. I've organized this into first and second degree connections, and so yeah. First degree connections of The Simpsons are like Futurama, which crossed over in Simpsonama, The Critic, which crossed over in A Star is Burns, Family Guy, which is The Simpsons Guy, Bob's Burgers, if that was canon for that, also is in there, um, Rick and Morty is connected through a first connection, King of the Hill, X-Files, and The PJs. And if you ask me, I have valid evidence for all of these shows. So, now, they might not all take place in the same universe. Ahem, <laughs> Rick and Morty compared to some of the others, but they all have connections. And what if I told you that this indirectly connects four additional shows? The Cleveland Show, which is connected to Family Guy through the, a direct spinoff, American Dad is in the same universe as it. Archer crossed over with Bob's Burgers. And Gravity Falls is confirmed to be in the same universe as Rick and Morty. Bringing all of these shows together. Yes. That's a cartoon multiverse we have on our hands here. Far bigger than any anything Disney or Nick have put together for their animated shows yet. In fact, while the Big Three Kids Networks all have their own um, universes, I think there's plenty more universes to explore with these. You see, simple links between these shows will bring almost every possible show together because Plenty of references and crossovers happen between all kinds of shows. It's a fact. And I, this is all speculation I have here. And if and if you guys ask me in the comments, I can give evidence for every one of these. And please help me branch this out further. I want to see what The Simpsons has connected. Because it's got a whole roster of shows. It's connected. And this is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, no cartoon universe really spans mul multiple networks. Not even close. But with this brand new network being tied together, we might just be able to get a little more connections between them. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video of mine today. And I have plenty of plenty more content coming on my channel very shortly. As these shows, I'm just... I had a theory, I sent it out. 
and you're going to tell me what you think. And you're going to help me connect more shows to this network. That's right, more shows, because this is only what I was able to come up with in, like, 20 minutes of research. So, thank you guys so much, and let's build the multiverse. Hi guys, it's the Entertainment Lord here with a quick end video to this. Because, I think we need to talk about something that I am going to be doing big time. February 15th, 8 o'clock, the minute the Gravity Falls episode ends. I will be streaming to discuss the entire series with you guys. That's right, anything you would want me to ask me about it. And my thoughts and experience with Gravity Falls, you can ask me here. Um, because it's been a major part of my channel too. The only second to Steven Universe as far as content vlogs. Yeah, I put a lot of content out on this channel, as you guys all know. I have over 200 videos in a backlog of like four years, or in a backlog of like one year. Plenty of videos that come out on the same day, but I'm finally ready to do my one of the final Gravity Falls videos on my channel. That's right, we're wrapping this bad boy up. When Gravity Falls ends, I'll do a bit more content on it, including vlogs, and some other things, and then Gravity Falls content will be dropped from my channel completely, sadly. I don't want to drop it completely, but unless the show starts coming back, or anything like that, it's not going to be featured on my channel as prevalently. In fact, it'll be much more of a background show. Um, to cater towards my channel. On a side note from that, I'll be actually picking up quite a few more vlogs, as I've tried to say before. I'm going to finish reviewing that show Cyber 6, because I do like that a lot. Steven Universe will continue, Star Wars Rebels will begin, and the Avatar series will begin. Alongside that, I want to make it very clear, every day in February, a new Gravity Falls vlog will come out. That's right, I am going to have a vlog come out every day in February. Alongside my traditional content. So, yeah. I got more work cut out for me. And, as you know, if you've been on my channel for a while, I like to pick up a lot of projects. And I usually won't do most of them. <laughs> and looking at you, I will review for you. But anyway. I am very proud to have been working with the show for so long. In fact, once again, I I was on the UNS and, and Friends streams back when they had... When my friend John over on U Universal News Show had those. Since then, I have... I feel like I've changed as a YouTuber in that kind of way, and I've become a much more critical and fandom-oriented. I'm a fandom-oriented YouTuber. I do things to discuss, analyze, and stuff like that. And with that being said, February will be the last- will be one of the last months for Gravity Falls content. It, it will spill into March. But, I am very happy to be doing some vlogs and final reviews one last time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.